Greetings one and all, and welcome to the open-handed classroom. I want to extend a special thank you to you, yes, you, for stopping by. Now, students, as you can see on the screen is a math question. And I got this math question from the 2018 Paper 1 Mathematics BJC Examination. Now, consider this question and notice that this question is currently unsolved. But I assure you that by the end of this video, this math question would be completed. But I have a question for you. I have a question for you. Are you ready? Are you ready to begin? All right. Okay, then let's dive in. We begin by reading the instructions. And the instruction states the following. Answer all questions in the spaces provided. Show all necessary working. And there should be a one here because this is question 1B, all right? Now this question, question 1B, is actually a subtraction problem. It's actually a, a, a subtraction problem. And this question wants us to subtract these two numbers. It wants us to subtract 9,718 and 5,267. Now, some of you may be saying, instructor, this is just a subtraction problem. I already know how to do this. If you fall in that category, I encourage you to, to go ahead, pause the video, do the question on your own, and I'll see you on the other side of the pause. All right, now that you have tackled the question on your own, let us deal with the question together. All right, let's deal with the question together. I am going to write the subtraction problem that we were given right here on this screen. So we have 9,718, 9,718. Subtraction sign, do not forget that. And we have what? 5,267 and 67. And our goal is to subtract 5,267 from 9,721. Notice that in this question, the larger number, right, which is 9,718, the larger of the two numbers is at the top, right where it's supposed to be. Now, let us use a different color. Okay, good. Now, when we are when we are when we are subtracting in this in this in this question like i'm going to show you the way i'm going to show you is the following we are going to tackle this question column by column all right so we're going to subtract these two numbers right then we're going to move on and we're going to go to the second column the tens column then we're going to go to the hundreds column and then we're going to go to the thousands column and then when we reach the thousands column, then we are done. All right? Okay. So let us begin. Let us begin by subtracting these two digits. All right? So we say 8 minus 7. What is 8 minus 7? I, instructor, that is easy. 8 minus 7 is 1. All right. Awesome. So let me erase this here. Awesome. Good. 8 minus 7. So we take this one and we're going to put it right here below the 7. All right. 8 minus 7 is 1. All right. So now that we're done with that column, let's go to the tens column. And in fact, this column that we just finished, this column is called the ones column or it's called the units column. And this column that we're on right here is called the tens column. So let us subtract these two numbers. 1 minus 6. Now, 1 minus 6 
does not give us a positive whole number, right? It, it would not give us a positive whole number. In fact, notice that one is less than six, all right? One is less than six. So if we do one minus six, we will not get a positive whole number. Therefore, what we're going to do, right? What we're going to do, let me erase. Therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next door neighbor and borrow. So let's go to the seven and borrow. So we're going to borrow one from the seven. All right. So borrowing one from the seven, if we say what? Seven minus one, right? Seven minus one will give us what? Seven minus one is six. So therefore, six would remain on top, right? Why well, should say six would be left because we took away one from the seven. All right. So our neighbor was generous enough. He, he gave us one and now he's left with six and we put our one that we got from him there. And we view this not as one and one, but we view this as 11. All right. So we view this as 11. So now the question now becomes not one minus six, all right, not one minus six, but the question now becomes, excuse me, the question now becomes 11 minus six. So let's represent that right there. It now becomes 11. What is 11? Sorry. What is 11 minus six, right? What is 11 minus six? So let's do that. 11 minus six equals what? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That is five. All right. So five definitely supposed to go here. And eight minus seven, like we saw before, is one. All right. Good. So let us move over to the next column, the hundreds column. All right. And we say what? Six minus two. All right. Six minus two. All right. What is six minus two? Six minus two is four. Six minus two is four. So we place the four right here below the two. Now, listen, listen, we are on our last column, the thousands column. All right. So we're almost done. So in our thousands column, we have the numbers nine and five. So we say nine minus five. What is nine minus five? Nine minus five is four, is four. Okay. So our answer, right? Our answer is four to this subtraction problem is 4,451. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome.